This is packet number 24, problem 4C. And we are asked to find the derivative, so dy dx, of the function uh, given, the given function. So first thing to consider is I have a product rule going on. I have... the x squared plus 6 to the fourth, and I have x minus 1. So if I think of u to be, um, well, product rule, let's talk about the, if I have, if I want to take the derivative of a function that is being that is made up of two functions being multiplied together, uh, as we have established in previous packets. It is the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. So I'm calling the x squared plus 6 to the fourth u and the x minus 1 to be v. So in that case, the, the first function, u, I'm just going to put down x squared plus 6 to the fourth, plus the derivative of v, now the derivative of x minus 1, derivative of x is 1, the derivative of negative 1 is 0, so I just have a 1 there, plus the second, so my x minus 1, times my derivative of the first. And the derivative of the first, I need to have a chain rule involved with it. So, or an extended power rule. Which means, and I'll do it down here for a moment. The derivative of that, I have to bring the exponent down in front. Write down whatever it is whatever functions in there. So the x squared plus 6, lower the power once, and then the tricky part, and this is the part everybody forgets, is times the derivative of the inside. Okay? So that all makes up u prime. So I'm going to multiply this 4 and the 2 together, and it's common to have the x in front of what would be in the parentheses. Now there are going to be some problems. That answer's fine. There are going to be some problems later on where we have to figure out where that equals zero. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little algebra that will help in future problems. Notice how there's an x squared plus 6 and it's to the fourth on this first term and an x squared plus 6 to the third on the second term. Since they are common to one another, I can factor out an x squared plus 6, and I have to factor it out to the lower power, so to the third. Then on, I'd be left with inside an x squared plus 6, because these two multiplied together would give me the x squared plus 6 to the fourth. Uh, the times 1 is inconsequential. I can leave that out. And then I'd have, I'd have an 8x. And then I'd have the x minus 1. And the, that last term, the x squared plus 6 to the third, is accounted for right here. So I'm going to erase this bottom part and then a little bit more algebra inside. I have x squared plus 6 to the third and then I have an x squared plus 6 and then if I distribute 
and I'd have an 8x squared minus 8x, and x squared plus 6 to the third times, uh, that would be 9x squared minus 8x plus 6. Now even though that those two terms set equal to uh, set equal to zero would not necessarily be the easiest thing to find the answers the uh, when they equal zero, but to find the roots of them, but they having the derivative in this form definitely is easier to find the deri the roots of it than when it's in this form. Again, the answer here at this stage of the game is an acceptable answer.